My brother Scotty has some of the worst luck I've ever seen when it comes to hitting animals in his car. I think he's killed two raccoons, an entire family of skunks, and he's hit a deer. I've never even hit a squirrel. And, you know, I like to make fun of him because even though he acts like a hard ass, he's a total pussy when it comes to animals. So he feels excruciatingly bad after each one of these instances. Now, of course, being his older brother, I constantly deride him for this and make him feel even worse. You know, when he hit those raccoons, I was like, those were probably mother raccoons bringing food back to their babies, Scotty. Those babies are gonna die of starvation because of you and your careless driving. And it was just especially funny when you hit the family of skunks because, you know, you just imagine the little skunk babies being born all pink and innocent and new for this world and then their mother nurses them and teaches them how to walk and then Scotty comes along in his car and BAM! An entire family gone from this planet forever because of him. So, I like to stick my finger in the wounds and just, ah, ha, ha, yeah, pain, feel it. The reason I got thinking about roadkill is because the other day I was driving down the road and this, this beautiful, majestic falcon, its keen eyes looking for prey, and then a big fucking semi just BAM! Hits that motherfucker and it spins through the air and like shit and wings and blood and little bird feet like explode off it and it just lands on the other fucking side of the road. I'm like, damn, that falcon is dead. Yeah, I, well, anything in 30 pieces is probably gonna be dead, you know as a general rule. Okay, so the fucking bird is dead in a million pieces on the side of the road, and at first I feel kind of bad, because this majestic avian predator got fucking taken out by a semi. But then I started thinking to myself, you know what? I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad because a bird has no business flying across the road that low anyway. I mean, if you're a bird, you could easily fly over the goddamn road at a height sufficient to keep yourself safe. If you're a bird and you get hit by a car, you're fucking stupid. You're like someone who gets eaten by a shark, you know? Every year, five people are eaten by sharks, and they're eaten by sharks because they're dumbasses who are fucking around in shark territory. You go swim in the middle of the fucking ocean, you get eaten by a shark, Good riddance, right? So that got me thinking. Birds get killed because they're too low to the fucking ground sometimes, and humans get killed because we're too high in the air sometimes. You know, we put ourselves in these little metal tubes and we fly across the air at hundreds of miles per hour, at tens of thousands of feet, and, you know, every once in a while, one of these planes fucking crashes to the ground. And I'm really scared of that. I hate flying in planes because of that. Every time I'm in a plane, it's the strangest mixture of boredom and sheer terror, which are two things you wouldn't think you could feel at the same time unless you are on a plane ride and you're scared of flying like I am. One half of me is like, oh my god, this seat is so uncomfortable and these people are so stupid and the in-flight movie is fucking retarded and I'm gonna be on this plane for another fucking ten hours. Ugh, I'm just... Ugh. And then, you know, you got a 20,000 year layover at some crowded fucking airport with nowhere to lie down, nowhere to relax. Air travel is incredibly boring and incredibly frustrating, but also incredibly terrifying, because all I can do the whole time is imagine these disaster scenarios. And I've already talked about this in a previous video, so I won't get too much into it, but the thing that people always use to comfort me, you know, you're way more likely to die in a car crash than you are in a plane crash. And I've also made a video about that, because this is something that's on my mind pretty often. You know, the thing about that is, I, it's definitely more likely. It's, it's just not even arguable that you're more likely to die in a car crash. But most car crash deaths consist of driving along, minding my own business, OH FUCK A SEMI! BAM! DEAD! That's it. If you're in a plane, it's a totally different fucking story. If you're in that plane, you're, you're, there's a little bit of turbulence, you're kind of like, oh man, some turbulence, huh? And then, BAM, the fucking engine explodes, and it's like, oh fuck, oh fuck, the gas mask come down, everyone's screaming, the 
pilot fucking comes on the intercom telling us we're gonna have to make an emergency landing in the woods. Next thing you know, the fucking plane is spiraling out of control. You're going in and out of consciousness due to the rapidly changing air pressure. And, you know, you have time to sit there and think, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And being human beings, we're always trying to figure out a way out of it. We're like, oh my god, I gotta fucking figure out some way out of this crazy situation. But there's no way out, because you're on a fucking tube, a fucking 10,000 feet in the air, and, you know, descending. So you have a lot of time to be like, ah! And then, here's a horrifying thing, you crash into the fucking ground. Most people in a plane crash do not die on impact. Their legs are broken and they fucking burn to death because they cannot escape because their legs were broken in the crash. So, you get to enjoy a nice flaming fucking death after a 20,000 feet descent into the fucking mountainside. It seems a lot scarier than a car crash, that's all I'm fucking saying.